Good morning, everyone. We're finally uh, today. Uh, you know, we got up and uh, we're going for the trek. It's uh, I think close to 1 a.m. and uh, this is not the time you'd say good morning. You'd say good night. But uh, unfortunately, what's happened is because of the curfew in Bangalore, uh, the trek group has had to start early. So they're three hours early, and uh, as a result, we also have to get up at 1 a.m. and reach the place by two. So we'd be, I think, sitting there till about 4:30, and after that we start the trek. But it's a very funny feeling because we just left a couple of hours back, and now we are up. So we're just following the van because we decided not to drive on our own, just because you know you can't trust Google Maps completely in the hills, and there's a fair amount of mist in the morning. So we decided, okay, let's follow these guys. So we are. In some village, some homestay, which we have to find out. Thank God we actually followed the van because I don't think we'd have ever been able to come here because there is no Google Maps and there's no signal. So it's, it's time now, 2:08, and we're now going on top of that. Doesn't look like a road, but let's see. It's all first gear. Five ten right now, so so we reached here and uh, uh, we had the option of either doing a campfire or sleeping. But I think all of us were very unanimous that you know we wanted to sleep. I think we have a trek group of about ten people. We yet to know any of them, so we're just waiting for our morning coffee uh, and then we will be starting. Why don't you uh, feature Chintu in your video? Who's Chintu? Huh? The dog. He's waiting for his friend come. It's the time to discover. Starting the trek, it's uh, very, very misty right now. I think it's about three kilometers to the peak. Huh. First signs of seeing Etna Buja in that midst. <laughs> it was here. Where did it go? It looks like a stream of water that's flowing on the mountains. It's a beautiful painting right now and I want you to see it. This is how beautiful it looks. We're not yet on the top of the mountain. We still have some distance to cover and uh, that's how far we need to go. We're here, there's a little more ascent. So with every 20-30 meters of ascent that you do, the views are getting that much more better. And I think we're right now on that path which goes to the top at Etinabuja. And I'm just amazed at the kind of scenery that's around here. This side is a painting of clouds. This side the mist is slowly building up and we're right in the middle. We are blessed to see such views. So we're almost at the top. The ascent is slowly increasing. 
This is where you revise all of the trigonometry that you never learnt in school. It's come through some amount of hard work. I haven't, you know, seen sweat in a while, especially in Bangalore. So it's good to do all that climb, especially coming all the way down till right at the top. Finally at the top. It's taken a while. What we started at about 5.30. It's 6.50 right now. So it's taken us an hour and 10 minutes. It's only a three kilometer trek. But uh, I think well, we it, it could have been lesser. Largely because we stopped for views of, you know, the clouds caressing the top of the hills here. And as you see that view below, it looks like water or the ocean is, you know, flowing over the mountains. That's how it looks. Very fluid in nature. Uh, beautiful view from the top. And uh, Etina Buja was worth it. And I think uh, while we initially felt that this is going to be a very short trek, three kilometers, uh, I think the views more than compensate for the lack of distance. And with me on this trip are some dragonflies and Vinay. So both of us have just made it to the top. We're waiting for the rest of the group to come. Till then, we're just going to save us some views. So we're almost done with the trek, we're going down. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, it's better to do the trek early in the morning, which is start at 5 and then get up at 6.30. The reason is, there's a huge exodus literally of people after 8 a.m. who are now starting to come up. So on a hill, you just don't want any kind of traffic jam. So that way it's better you come in early. Yeah. Huh. So we had a good trek, we're almost at the uh, base now, we're going to have breakfast, we're the last ones in our group, largely because of me, because I'm walking slow. So how, how did you enjoy the trek when I... Yeah, it was fun, it was fun. I enjoyed the view, the trek was not, it was okay, mm. not very, it's a very easy... Yeah, there are not too many treks that challenge you, right? It's an easy trek, but mm. it's a, the view was good. It was good only because we went early. Right. So we were able to see the sunrise, there was no crowd. Exactly. So one thing to keep in mind is uh, you should maybe start at 5 o'clock and um, not come later because once you do, you're going to see a lot of uh, human population on that place. Uh, when we went, we were about 10 of us. Now I think there are close to 50 people who are trying to ascend and descend at the same time. And it's the same path that you have to use with rocks that are almost sometimes 80 degree vertical climb. So it's better that you have lesser competition to go scale at Tinabuja. So that's one travel tip that we've learned from doing this morning trek. Looking forward to a good breakfast. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, ta 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 Spider-Man. Let's get that back. That is Tinabuja. That's just the place we've uh, scaled and come. I love the place, man. That's uh, It was so serene at the top. And um, I'm now really looking forward to climbing more hills, getting a little more fit, having better shoes for starters. And then for now, just, you know, just having good breakfast. So as a last point on the trek, uh, or rather the end of the trek, we've come to the point where we actually started the trek. So it's a place called Nanya Bhaireshwara Temple, supposed to be over a thousand years old. I'm going to go inside and see and uh, just hope some good vibes come my way. Let's take you inside.
ಲೈಟ್ ಸಿಗತ್ತಲ್ವಾಯ್ತು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇನ್ನೂರು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಹಳೆಯ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಇದು ಹೊಯ್ಸಳರ ಕಾಲದ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಇದು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಜೀರ್ಣ ಶಿಥಿಲಾವಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿದ್ದು ಧರ್ಮಸ್ಥಳ ಧರ್ಮೋತ್ಥಾನ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಕಡೆಯಿಂದ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಜೀರ್ಣೋದ್ಧಾರ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಭಕ್ತಾದಿಗಳಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಕುಲದೇವರು ಭೈರವೇಶ್ವರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಶಿವ ಮತ್ತು ವಿಷ್ಣುವಿನ ಅಂಶ ಭೈರವೇಶ್ವರ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರತಿನಿತ್ಯವೂ ಪೂಜೆ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನ ಕಾಲ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಹತ್ತು ಗಂಟೆಯಿಂದ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಒಂದು ಗಂಟೆವರೆಗೂ ಪೂಜೆ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಗ್ಗಿ ಹಬ್ಬ ಹಾಗೆ ವಾರ್ಷಿಕೋತ್ಸವ ಈ ಥರದ ಸಮಾರಂಭಗಳು ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಎತ್ತಿನ ಪೂಜ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೇಕ್ಷಣೀಯ ಸ್ಥಳವಿದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಜನ ಟ್ರಕ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಪ್ರತಿನಿತ್ಯವೂ ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ಶನಿವಾರ ಮತ್ತು ಭಾನುವಾರ ವೀಕೆಂಡ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಂತೂ ತುಂಬ ಜನ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಂತವ್ರು ಕೂಡ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನಕ್ಕೆ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ದಿನೇ ದಿನೇ ಈ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಕೂಡ ತುಂಬ ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿ ಪಡಿತಾ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಹೆಸರು ಕೂಡ ಪಡಿತಾ ಇದೆ ಇನ್ನೂರು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ವಯಸ್ಸಲ್ಲ ಕಾಲದ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಈ ತರದ ಒಂದು ಮೂರು ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಇದೆ ಕಾಲ ಭೈರವೇಶ್ವರ ನಾಣ್ಯ ಭೈರವೇಶ್ವರ ಬೆಟ್ಟದ ಭೈರವೇಶ್ವರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಒಂದು ಹಾಸನ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಎರಡು ಚಿಕ್ಕಮಗಳೂರು ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಾಣ್ಯ ಭೈರವೇಶ್ವರ Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. So, we're almost done with breakfast. A uh, very satisfying one. Had some um, akki roti. And then uh, had some nice uh, kheera. I don't know what to say that in English. And of course, there was some nice lemon rice to have in the morning. Fairly uh, tiring morning. And I think I've now added some level of energy back. I hear there's a juice also that's on the way. and after this we'll probably be going back um, a little slowly though to take in some sights of this beautiful place which is called hanban um, and this is bairepura so we'll be, we'll be going from bairepura to hanban back to sakleshpur so uh, hope you enjoyed the video so far i'm enjoying the drive are you la 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 YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and of course my own blog www.kachutravels.com